how to highlight important information here in Excel using two different features. That is a drop down list and also this checkbox right here. It's pretty much simple to create this custom way to highlight data in Excel. Basically, the first thing that you need to have is a data set, the data that you want to use to be highlighted. And here I'm using a sales report, but you can use any different type of data that you want to use. And then we're going to need to enable here the developer tab. Let me click here on the tab and in any blank spot, you can right click and then you can go to customize the ribbon. Here you're going to have many different options and you can choose here instead of popular commands, let's say all tabs. And you're going to have here the developer tab. Just click in the developer tab and then click add and then OK. Now with the, the second step done, we can move on and create, let's say, these checkboxes right here and also create the list itself that we're going to use to highlight different informations. And to create this drop down list that we're going to have here in Excel, maybe first, I think it's easier to create the list, the options in the list that we're going to use. Because I'm going to use the months, January, February, March, April, and on and on, I think it's better and easier if I, in any cell here in Excel, I create this list in the cells, such as January, February, March, and on and on. Something that you can do is, you can, in the first cell, in any cell, you just type in Jan, that corresponds to January, and then you click in the cell, uh, in the down right corner of the cell, you click hold and drag it out to make sure you can create here a sequence, January, February, March, April, May, and that's it. So I'm going to use this range right here that I just created in my drop down list. Or, of course, you don't need to do this step because you can do it manually. You can type in manually all the items, options that you need to use in the list. But I think what I did here is easier. So let's take here this cell, let's say J5 or any other cell. And then I'm going to click here data. Here to the right, data validation, and then data validation. Instead of using allow any value, allow list. I'm going to take the list that I already did here, select everything, and then click OK, and we're done. Now I have here a drop down list in Excel. But let's say whenever I choose here a different option, such as February, I want to not only the cells that correspond the match with the February month, that is the month that I selected before. Not only this cell, those cells right here are going to be highlighted for me, but the entire row. How can I do it? It's pretty much simple. So let's say uh, first you need to select everything but the headers. Okay, so you don't need to select the titles of the spreadsheet. And then you can click here, Home tab, Conditional Formatting, and then New Rule. Because here we're going to create our custom rule. I'm going to choose the last option in this empty bar right here. I'm going to click within this bar and then I'm going to select the first cell where I have my first criteria, that is the month. So the first cell where I have the month. I'm going to click here, this first cell. And something very important here, whenever you are using the conditional formatting in Excel and you select a cell, Excel is going to lock the reference for you. I want to the reference is stay fixed in the column C. Okay, it's, it cannot move to the column D, to the column E, and on and on. But uh, the second part is not correct, it's wrong, because I want to the conditional format, check all the rows. So the row number 5, number uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and, and on and on. Because of that, I want to, I need to read it off this dollar sign that I have just before the number, for this reason that I explained it. So just read it off the second dollar sign. And then if this cell is equal to, equal to, the month that I selected here before, and we're going to have this formula right here. I want to format with, let's say, a bluish color like this, or maybe like this one. Okay, okay, and yeah, we're done. So whenever I change here the month, the entire row that corresponds to this specific month that I selected here is going to be automatically highlighted for me. Now let's do something similar, but using the checkbox itself. I just need to click here, developer, insert, and then the third option, checkbox. Click. Now we're going to need to click, hold, and drag to create the area where you're going to have your checkbox, okay? You can also, with the checkbox selected, using the arrow keys to precisely move your checkbox, maybe like this. This first one, I'm going to click inside, and I'm going to rename it to, let's say, largest sale. And read it off everything else. Okay. Now, if I click here in the checkbox, as you guys can see, I can mark, I can check or uncheck the little box. Let me 
press and hold the control key and click over the checkbox. Now I'm gonna use control C to copy, control V to paste. Instead of largest value or largest sale, I want to type in here smallest sale. Okay, and we can actually create this automatically highlight. Right clicking in the checkbox and then format control. Here I'm gonna select cell link. Let's click here in this upper arrow. And then I want to choose the cell that is underneath this checkbox. But uh, it's kind of trick to select the cell that is underneath the checkbox. So I'm gonna click in any other cell like this one. This cell right here underneath my checkbox is the cell J3. So I'm gonna change here. Instead of eight, I'm gonna use J. Okay. Dot arrow. You can also using a 3d shading then okay and yeah whenever you now mark let's say the checkbox as you guys can see a true word is going to appear here in the cell that you selected before and if you unmark the checkbox you're going to have a false as a result now that we know that we have true or false we can create the conditional formatting based on those two words true or false i'm going to do the same thing here for the smallest sale right click Format control, and then I'm gonna use this 3D effect cell link. I'm gonna use the cell just underneath the checkbox, but I'm gonna change here instead of using this the column I. I'm gonna use the column J. Enter. Okay, and yeah, we're done. Now to make sure, let's mark both, and then I'm gonna press and hold the control key, select the first checkbox, format, shape fill, white. The second one, I'm going to do the same thing, basically. And with both of the backgrounds painted with this white color, I think it's much better because now we can't see what is underneath those checkboxes. Now, let's say whenever I check here the largest value or the largest sale, I want to highlight the largest value that I have here in the sales. And to do it, we can use a conditional formatting in Excel. But here we need to be mindful because actually I have two different criteria. The first one is I need to highlight the largest sale, okay, the largest one. And this is my first criteria. The second criteria is I can only highlight this value if the checkbox is marked. Because if it's blank, like the second option right here, it's not going to be highlighted. Okay, so we need to be mindful about it. Uh, let me select here everything as the values that we're going to use. Then I go to Home, Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Last option to create a custom formula. And then here inside this formula bar, I'm gonna start with selecting the first cell that we have here as the values, okay? Let's read it off for the same reasons that we saw before, the second dollar sign, and just stick with the first one. So I want to make sure the value, each one of the cells that I have, I need to check each one of the cells that I have, if those cells are equal to the largest value. And if it's true, I want to highlight those cells. So this is why I'm using here equal sign. Okay, so equal sign, the first cell is equal to the largest value. If it's true, it's going to be highlighted. Okay, and if it's not, it's not going to be highlighted. But how can I get the result of the largest value? I can use the max function to return the largest value of a set of values. So equal sign, max, open parentheses, and then I want to check the, let's say, I can select a small range, either a small range or select the entire column D. I think it's easier to select the entire column D. So D to D. And now uh, here you're going to use column, okay? D, column D. And then close parentheses. And then I'm going to click format. I'm going to select here a greenish color, font. I want to use a white one. And then OK. OK. And we're done. Let's say now always the largest value is going to be highlighted with this greenish color. Let's change this value right here to uh, a value that is actually large. 9999. Okay, enter. Now, as you guys can see, this is the new largest value. But uh, we have here half the solution because, as you can see, the checkbox is marked. But if I uncheck this checkbox right here, nothing happens. So the checkbox actually is not working properly because it doesn't matter if the checkbox are checked, is checked or not, because the conditional formatting is always going to keep in the largest value with this green highlighted. Uh, and how can I use the checkbox as a criteria? If I check the checkbox, 
it's going to be highlighted the largest value. And if not, it's not going to be highlighted. Let me click here again, Home tab, Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules, and we're going to have here two different rules. The one that I want to change is the first one. So let me double click here, one, two, to open the, the settings. And now we need, we're going to need to use the if function within this formula that we created before, because the if function is going to be responsible to if the checkbox is marked, highlighted the cell. If not, then don't need to highlight the cell, okay? So this is how the if function is going to work here. Basically, after the first equal sign or before everything, equal sign, I want to use here if function, if open parentheses, if the cell that I have here in the checkbox, that is the cell J3, okay? If this cell J3, but here is important to lock the reference. So dollar sign J, dollar sign three. If this cell is equal to the word true, so comma is gonna be, we're gonna need to have the highlight. If not, after everything, comma, and then close parentheses. This is gonna solve our problem. And to make sure we can create the second condition of formatting to the, the lowest value, let's say, let me select everything here and then right click, cope. Okay, we're gonna use it later. And then, okay, apply. Okay, actually looks that nothing changed here, but uh, let's uncheck this checkbox. Now it's working, okay? So now we have a checkbox that actually works. To create the smallest sale, we're gonna do something similar. So again, I'm going to select everything that I'm going to use as the range, home tab, condition of formatting, and then new rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format. And here within this formula bar, we're going to right click and then paste or control C, control V. And instead of using the J3 cell, we're going to use the J or, and then format. We're going to use as the font color, a white one, and as the fill, a head which one. Okay, and before we press OK again, just one thing that I missed here. Instead of using the max function to take the largest value, now we're going to need to use the mean function to take the minimum value, the, the lowest one, the smallest one. Mean function, okay? Click OK, apply, OK, and we're done. So now when I check here the smallest sale checkbox, as you guys can see, the smallest value is going to be highlighted for me automatically. So this is how we can create these custom features in Excel to help us to highlight important information. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.